Ion is a tab target MMORPG released all the way back in 2009. I have been playing it since roughly 2009. I have invested almost 50 hours into this game over the last two and a half weeks. And my experience... <sighs> well, don't let me tell you, let me show you. Ion is a PvPvE MMO. You have two different races, two different factions that are at war with one another, the Elios and the Asmodians. Now, I have played Elios for pretty much my entire history with Ion. I played the Asmodians once, and that is when they still had like clawed feet, the hairy backs, and the hairy tails. I'm gonna go with the Elios because I feel like their characters are just prettier. Well, I mean, I say that, but then I, I, I look back at the older characters, and then I look at, like, the Muse, the most recent one, and it looks significantly better. So I guess we're gonna go with... Yeah, we're gonna go with the Muse. And then, immediately, upon clicking Create Character, you're presented with this absolute abomination. I mean, this is a this is a significant upgrade. Most importantly here, we have the, the physique of our character. It it actually comes with a uh, a maxed out chest. I remember when uh, you used to start off, you used to start off all the way up there, not right outside the village. The first book is the Age of Dawn, and the second is the Day of the Storm. Knowledge is the mind's blade. I suggest you sharpen yours. Wait, that was his voice, yet... I am but a faithful servant. May the shadows never find me. <laughs> Are we sure that's the same voice actor doing both lines? A blessed angel ring for 30 days gives you... Wow, that is a quite a hefty boost to stats. Oh, it's a great Deku tree. Okay, let's take a moment here and do a gear test. Alright. You wouldn't think she's wearing that under that, but... Alright, here's the first instance of the game. I wonder if we can just avoid... Nope, these things are gonna aggro on us from 30 feet away. I feel like... MMOs would retain players long term or would have a higher rate of retaining players long term if they just made the beginning of the game more enjoyable. Because I'm sure so many people, potential long term players are turned away from how boring the new player experiences in the majority of these games. This never gets old. Just close your eyes and, and listen to what's going on. Alright, my, uh, my first gear is a Vandal. I don't look horrible. This is admittedly exactly what I wanted in the game. How did, uh, how did NCSoft know that my whole life I've wanted to ride something that looks exactly like this? Thank you, NCSoft, for helping me fulfill one of my dreams. You know what, before I continue, I'm actually curious. If I have gold on the other Elios character that I have on the server. Because I think the other Elios character I used to play on, I used to play years ago. And admittedly, they don't even have a name. And I don't know where I am. Oh man, my character was super cute though. Now I just gotta find a mailbox real quick. Am I flying on the ground? Dude, what did I have on this character? It looks like I have 60 million gold though. Okay, it looks like, interestingly enough, they removed the option 
of allowing you to transfer your money between characters. So, what that means is there's really only one way I can think of to circumvent that restriction, and that is by putting something in the auction and then purchasing it with this character. All right, as you can tell, Take care, kind Ava. this worked. Now, I started off with 60, 65 million of my other character, and after transferring all of my money using the auction, I have 49 million. I lost a lot of money in doing this, but at the same time, I feel like it was kind of worth it because I'm definitely gonna make use of all of this money on this character. All right, so I'm level 13 and it says I need to be level 14 to continue with the main quest. There are no side quests available in the town whatsoever. I'm not sure if that's a quest I can take up ahead at Abelia, but I'm gonna go ahead and I guess investigate. This is a repeatable quest. That's what the the light blue means. Oh man, I forgot how cool the uh, the flight masters looked. And seeing your character just be transported from uh, point A to point B on the map. I remember seeing this for the first time and just being absolutely taken aback with it. My mind was blown. This was a a breathtaking view of the game, seeing it from a completely different perspective. And then immediately upon entering the new area, the Hyron Observatory, it tells you to continue with the quest, which we needed to be level 14 for. You need to now be level 27. And to hit level 27, you do repeatable quests. That's it. There are... You're, you gotta be kidding me. There are no areas around that have new quests. There are only repeatable quests right now. How is that a, a fun or fulfilling experience, introduction to the game? Like, that, that's just, I, I don't know, uh, not very rewarding at all. So we're two levels ahead of, uh, of what we're required to be for the main story now. But I do not anticipate that really being much overall. I feel like we're still, I, I feel like what's gonna happen is we're gonna do 10 minutes of the story and then we're going to be hit with a wall that is going to require us to be approximately level 34. You know, in this lighting, I just realized I have very smooth legs. Well, if uh, if this were an emergency, evidently I would not be the person to call. Am I just leaving him here now? Like I shattered the the cage. Now my goal is to just run out. Is that, are we for real? I don't have an extra quest for him. I'm literally, I'm just leaving him there. I'm abandoning him. Why did I go through all the effort of saving him if I was just going to abandon him? That really doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. But at the same time, like, I don't really want to stick around there. Large influx of enemies didn't really sound all that inviting to me. Oh, yep, yep, I love being knocked off my mount while riding it. It, uh... It's, it's a whole other level of immersion. Now, if you're riding a giant turkey and someone shoots a... an elemental ball at you, you're totally gonna fall off of your mount. Your mount's just gonna explode into nothingness and you're not gonna be able to remount it. Look at that, didn't I tell you? Didn't I tell you? It was gonna be 34. No, I was mistaken. It is actually 36. All I did was run from here to here, talk to two NPCs, and then I have a level 36 wall that is gonna require I grind 
the repeatables until hitting level 36 before being capable of continuing. And then it's gonna tell me I can't continue till approximately level like 44, maybe 42. Oh, I was... <laughs> Apparently I was in level 10 gear all this time. And I didn't realize I had a box in my inventory with level 20 gear. Now I can equip the level 20 gear that'll make me quite a substantial amount stronger. But at the same time, I feel like I was kind of doing all right anyway with the gear that I had on. But I think that's actually largely in part due to this one specific piece you're given at the beginning of the game. If I could remember how to open my uh, my character page, that'd be great. I tried C, I tried P. Okay, it, it's mainly due to this. This item you're given at the beginning of the game. It's just so powerful that it makes the game pretty much effortless. At least until, I'm guessing, thousands of damage and thousands of HP are no longer really a very substantial number. I actually got a new mount, but... I feel like it's not as adorable as my turkey. This ability is just so powerful. It's on a 20 second cooldown. Okay, you know what? You know what we're gonna do here? We are going to lure everything we can. And we're gonna see how many of them we can successfully kill before dying. And also how much XP this is gonna give us. We are currently at 81%. Admittedly, some of these are actually ranged. Which is kind of sad. So I guess this is... Oh, no. This is as good as we're going to get. Okay, admittedly, we got 3% from that. That was horrible. <laughs> but... At the same time, if we could successfully pull everything together, I feel like we could have pretty much killed them all if they were all melee. When I can teleport directly to any point I want to on the map, I thought I could. I thought I had to fly there. Oh my god, this! I could have saved myself so much time. Hi. Are you afraid? Not really. Should I be? The Balor prevail. Behold the spoils of a fallen Alicia. You decide the fate of the Elios and the Belor. Okay. Orisan strikes terror into the hearts of the Elios. Now you must act. Slay Orisan, and Elysia will be saved. Okay. Sure. Oh. Okay. Are you afraid? Like after you told me that? No, I'm actually more confused than anything. Are you afraid? I wish you'd stop asking me that. Are you afraid? Yeah, I'm afraid to keep talking to you at this rate. So this has pretty much been me over the course of the last hour or so. Take repeatable quests, do the repeatable quests, take more repeatable quests, do more repeatable quests. The repeatable quests in question have all been the exact same quest because unfortunately there's there's really nothing new to do upon leveling. You get a level up, okay great, stay in the zone you're in for the next 10 levels. And instead of it being like unlocking new content every level or two, it's well, you know what? Keep doing the repeatable quests you've been doing for like the next 14 levels because that's that's content that people are going to love. I don't know how many times I've killed these pincer jaw lapoopies, but like I feel like I know the route off by heart at this point. I know exactly what I need to kill. I know exactly where I need to go to kill them. 
I kill these little centipedes. After killing and looting the centipedes, I go and loot the little bat, fruit bat things. And after I loot the little, kill and loot the little fruit bat things, I then move on to the giant frilled neck lizards. I kill several of those lizards. And then I circle back. I go to the NPC and I'm like, I'm done. Give it to me again. Rinse and repeat. This has been such an enthralling experience. I've, I haven't been able to, to step away from it. You might have seen me undergo a multitude of different outfit changes, but that's just because redoing the same content over and over just makes me feel so dirty. Like I need to change. Nice. We actually picked up two more repeatable quests for a grand total of, I think, like eight. So I can technically clear eight repeatable quests all at once. That should get me the level I need. I feel like that should get me to 26 so I can finally continue with the main story. And they're my favorite kind of quest. The one that involves you not only killing, but also looting. Next, you're going to tell me that they have a 50% uh, a drop rate. And I'm going to get one every fourth kill. Because MMOs love to do that to me. Did, did you guys hear that little lemur scream? <laughs> what? That that is the sound a lemur makes when it dies, apparently. <laughs> oh my god. Oh man, speaking of really dumb sounds things make in this game, listen to my chicken. That's enough to drive you mad. All right, I hit level 27. You're here. Content is no longer gated for the next, like, five minutes, I think. I hate in video games that dismounting upon receiving or taking damage is a feature. It should not be. We... Like... What, what even happens? Does her, does her mount just give up on life? Does her mount just nope out of there, desummon itself, teleport away? Oh, hi. I'm sorry for disturbing your re- Wait! No, I had a quest there! Oh, well. I have a headache. <laughs> I mean, so do I. But, I mean, that's just what happens when you play a game like this. I did all of the side quests, of which there were, I think, a grand total of two. I, uh, I did this guy's repeatable quests. Now I'm gonna go down here. I'm assuming the quests here, the repeatables here, are gonna give me more XP than the repeatable quests where I was would give. It says I can immobilize targets with this ability. But then when I hit them, they immediately get knocked out of it. So I feel like that's kind of counterproductive unless you're using it for something like PvP. I'm not quite sure why I'm slowly running towards the monster. I feel like in retrospect, I probably should have been running away from the monster, but... Business is bad. Here. Yeah, business is bad because there's no one playing the game. All right, I completed... Uh, I got here at level, what, 42? For the main story and then at level 42 I completed one story quest and now the story is gated behind hitting level 54 12 entire levels I am required to get 12 entire level ups before I can continue with the next stage of the story the story lasts 10 seconds that is it and then I'm and then I'm forced to go back and do repeatable quests repetitiously until, dude. How can anyone 
enjoy this in any capacity. This leveling experience is abhorrent. So I logged in earlier and I came to the realization that I no longer have a mount, which is gonna make traveling around exponentially more difficult. I'd completely forgotten that mounts have a time limit in this game. And admittedly, I don't think I've come across any tutorials that instructed me on how to go about actually obtaining additional mounts beyond what I'd gotten from the, I think it was like a mount cube or something. Towards the latter half of my 50s, I have noticed something interesting. And that is that there have been progressively more side quests, you know, like the darker blue quests, not the repeatable. So there have actually been a little more variety in terms of what I can do. Not a lot, granted, there hasn't, there definitely hasn't been a lot of variety in terms of what I can do, but enough where it doesn't feel as repetitive as like the first 50 or so levels. You don't realize how important a mount is in game until you actually have one you see the drastic difference it makes for you, and then you lose it. Because running on foot, even though I have boosted movement speed due to the uh, transparent potion I used is absolutely abhorrent. Oh no. Oh no, are you serious right now? No way. Uh, can I not resurrect here? Dude, I got absolutely fucked. Oh my God. Wow. Oh, I, I remember you have to use the soul healer to recover lost XP in this game. God, that is absolute bullshit. There, you should never be forced to spend money to recover lost XP. Lost XP should not be a thing. I don't care what game it is, I don't care who you are, lost XP should never be a thing in an MMO. Ever. So we're gonna attempt to tackle this again, but this time we're gonna use our brain and we're gonna kill the ads that are nearby so we don't trigger an additional encounter that we're not ready for. Increase my defense, I'm going to put a debuff on the boss, I'm going to apply my heal, I'm going to throw down my AoE, stun her, Use my teleport, get away from the adds, teleport back, teleport away again. Now my AoE is out. I'm gonna reapply the debuff to her, use a potion. Killed all of the adds. Okay, you know what? Using strategy worked. I do have additional quests I can take. Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to come the entire way back. Which, oh, I'm level 60, I just noticed. Oh my God, dude. I've been playing this game for the last eight days. Leveling at this juncture has gotten a little bit more interesting. See, on the one hand, I'm still doing pretty much exclusively repeatable quests because after hitting level, I think 62 or 64, the next story quest takes place at level 75 and hitting level 75 takes exponentially longer than it took to hit whatever my goal was in my 60s. Now, before I would take a, a cumulative total of two different quests, those repeatable quests would need to be repeated repetitiously four, six, eight times to hit the level where I could actually continue to pursue the main story. Here though, 
after hitting level 70, I have a total of like six, eight repeatable quests taken from three different hubs that span literally the entire east coast of Hyron. So it's a little bit more in terms of diversity. And while a little bit more diverse, sure, it doesn't change the fact that I'm still essentially farming the same monsters exclusively. I have been for about approximately an hour now. I am continuing to progress. I wouldn't say it's necessarily at a at a, a horrible rate anymore. I feel like after hitting level 70, after opening up all of these, these repeatables, it has gotten easier. Has it gotten to a point where it's bearable? No, like this is far from bearable. So I feel like this is still a horrendous way to level. I, I do not believe this should be the route that we're taking. I feel like this is still grotesquely boring. But at the same time, I would 100% prefer to have that degree of diversity than what I was stuck with throughout my 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, and 60s. I'd also like to point out that I think it's really dumb I can't use potions while mounted. I actually have to dismount to use a potion. I feel like that's horribly inconvenient. I also still want it to be known, like, regardless of how I think the leveling is in this game, I'm so glad I managed to choose this class. Being able to AoE like this is such a godsend, I think. I genuinely want to ask, like, for everyone that is still watching, all, I don't know, like, eight of you, is this, is this something you actually like? Do you, do you like just spending hours grinding the same monsters repetitiously, or... Because, like, I don't know, I get so bored. I'm, I'm struggling here to retain interest. I really would like to hit, like, level 80 or 90 or something. I really, like, I, I've looked at other creators' videos, and they get, like, to level 50. And I'm like, I, I really don't feel like that's necessarily far enough through the game where you can accurately gauge, where you can accurately gauge whether or not, you know, the, the, the leveling experience and the game overall is worth it. Like no shade thrown. I just feel like I would personally like to get further because I played Ion a, a multitude of times and this is probably the worst experience I've had in it. But not only that, I feel like this is probably the worst it has ever been and I feel like most creators don't even get this far most people that cover that have covered Ion in recent memory have never hit this far so they don't even they cannot even begin to grasp the depth of how horrifically boring this is I don't even know how many hours I've put into this game thus far 20 30 40 more like, I challenge anyone to invest, like, 40, 50, 60 hours into this game and say that it, it has been an enjoyable experience. Yep, this is... This last hour, hour and a half, two hours for me. I'm, I, I'm beginning to blur time. The days, they seem endless. Everything about this has left me highly confused. And for those of you that are wondering, he sticks. When did you when did you manage to get him out again? Where'd you get that from? I bought it. I'm renting it from the cash shop. I could rent it for 30 days. It costs real money to rent a mount for 30 days that you should have by default. All right. Since our last mount expired, we get to replace it with. Are you serious? This is our mount now. No, no way. This is, this is literally, no, dude, are you, come on, there's just no way. And that's the sound of me. I don't even want to play this anymore. Either way, we've actually managed to hit 75 or 76 actually. That is, that is an accomplishment. We have more story to continue with. We actually get to leave, I think, 
Hyron for the first time. We've been here from level eight or ten until seventy-six. No. Good. Yuck, yuck. This should be enough supplies. Okay. Where am I? We'll I was kidnapped. Anyway. It's a Dredgian. The fortress is under attack. What a high quality cutscene this is. Stand your ground. Reinforcements have arrived. <laughs> Tear the Dredgian apart. Protect the fortress. Oh my god! The sound effects I make. Okay. You got here just in time. No we way your that's help. your voice. You're a li you're now literally- Now we can really take the what? fight to those blasted Balar and foul Asmodians. You look 10. The illusion is made by a fragment fallen from the Tower of Eternity. <laughs> Funny. Oh my god. Dude, for real though. I hope that the either whoever did the voice acting for this game or the voice director is paid sufficiently for their level of quality work. And if that's the case, they are probably going to need a secondary and maybe a third job. So admittedly, the monsters here are a lot more powerful than the monsters in the previous area. Even with all of this better gear... My tactic of luring everything together to AoE them all dead? Uh, not particularly effective. Yeah. 100% not effective at all. I am going to get murdered if I continue to attempt to... ...tackle it... ...three to four monsters at a time. I mean, I'll give this game one thing, like this region in specific one thing. It looks very pretty. I'm f I'm genuinely glad to finally be out of Hyron and in uh, in in Gissin. in in Gissin. This is a very bright, very vibrant area. You can tell this was definitely 100% inspired by Genshin Impact. Yeah, I, that that was a joke. Probably didn't come off as one though. And today's daily mount is what seems to be a little buggy. <laughs> Oh my god. Dude. What? <laughs> you can hear it honking. It's a couple months ago, this would have been max level. Unfortunately, as of, you know, March 2023, that's not the case. But, I'm five levels off of hitting max level. That is crazy. And at the same time, I also want to know, in the 80 levels I have been playing thus far, I have not encountered a single Asmodian player. Apparently, our faction, the Elios, is outnumbered. The Asmodian outnumber us, what, two, three to one? And I haven't seen a single one of them. Part of the appeal to Ion was the PvPvE gameplay. This is gameplay where you would be exploring Alicia, going through the various regions, which are no longer available, by the way. They've removed some of the regions. But you would be exploring the region, and there would be rifts in the sky that would open up. Asmodians would fly through, and you would engage them in PvP. You'd constantly have to be on the lookout for potential conflict. That was part of the appeal. And something that I do not think is a part of the game anymore. I don't know where the PvP takes place. I don't know what form the PvP takes anymore. But I feel like that uh, that reduction in difficulty is very sad to see. Ion to this day is still a very good looking MMORPG. It is still an MMO that plays exceptionally well. But... 
just because a game looks good, just because a, good, a, a game plays good, does not make the game good. On the contrary, playing through Ion from level one to level 80, I believe the max level as of right now, uh, April 23rd, 2023 is 85. Leveling to 80 has been an incredibly arduous experience. I think at approximately the, the 35 to 40 hour mark, I was in my mid to late 70s when I realized you could actually utilize the uh, Carob's Quick Guide to gain some extra level ups, which I admittedly did use a little bit of and then I accidentally trashed some of the items and I'm incapable of using it anymore. But generally I pursued the leveling experience like you would any MMO running from point A to point B to point C to point D, going back, rinse and repeat. What that mostly consisted of was running repeatable quests, doing story every like every 10, 15 levels, like 10 minutes of story, and then proceeding to continue doing repeatable quests. The leveling experience has been absolutely atrocious. There have been absolutely no other players present until I hit this level 80 zone. I haven't seen anyone anywhere other than the main city. There's been no PVP. I remember playing this a few years ago when the Asmodians would come through the rift and they'd start ganking people out in the world. You'd, you'd be fighting for your life. That just isn't present. There's so much that used to be present, so much personality that used to be present in Ion that was just drained from it in this, this carcass of a game is what is left. I, I feel like this game is an absolute shell of its former self. There are almost no redeeming qualities present left. The remnants of the player base are clinging to nostalgia. They are only playing the game because they have invested so much time into it. And because there are probably certain aspects of the game that Ion just does better than other MMOs. There are, certain aspects that other games just don't do as well. Now, I could go on and on about all the things Ion does wrong, and I could probably in the next like 60 seconds list the things it does right, but at the end of the day, I just didn't have much fun. I invested 40 something, nearing 50 hours into this game, and I really didn't enjoy any of it. Absolutely none. This was repetitive, this was incredibly arduous. I don't think Ion is a bad game in its current form. I don't think it's a very good game in its current form. There are so many other games out there that are better. I feel like a lot of what made Ion good, a lot of what made Ion enjoyable is no longer valid, is is no longer available for us to consume as players. And that's sad because this game is a game that I used to absolutely adore. I used to pour so many hours into this. I remember fighting in the abyss. I remember fighting as Modi and out in the world. <sighs> Man, how the times have changed a once magnificent title. Now, if Ion isn't your thing, absolutely no problem. I got you covered with two different videos on screen right now. One featuring a list of every MMO coming out this month. The other featuring another MMO in this series. I urge you to go ahead and take a look at either or and I'll see you next time.